Okay guys, welcome back to part 2. As you have seen in the part 1 that how to install MediaTek USB Vcom drivers. And in the second part, we just need mainly 3 files. First one is the SP flash tool and second one is the stock ROM and third one is the TWRP recovery file. The stock ROM is required because in the stock ROM you will find a file that it is the default recovery file for the ROM. So you need to replace that recovery default recovery file with the TWRP recovery file in order to get TWRP recovery in the index cloud as in smartphone. Okay, just follow these steps as I do. First go to SP Flash Tools. Just open it. And just go to sorry. And then now you just need the Cloud S9 tool. You will get just get the uh, zip pack and you just have to extract it. I will just give you the link address of the stock ROM so that you can just go to that link and download because if I provide the direct link it is not possible for you to access it. So I am giving it the link address so you just copy it and paste it in the URL and you just go ahead. Miss click OK Cloud S9 and in this you just mainly need to observe two files and first one is the uh, this x name scatter file and second one is the uh, recovery verify this is the two main files which you need only for the pro process of installing twrp recovery file so after you just observe this just minimize it and just go to flash tool again and now what you have to do is this is the default which is set by the PC itself and now what you have to select is the scatter loading file click on this button after clicking the scatter loading file as I already installed it it took me to the direct folder where the scatter file is so if you are new user then you just go to the file where it is and just find it and you can just find this android scatter file now just click on it and open it it takes one to two minutes to get flashed in this because it has to find the correct one and it has to verify the file so i have already done it it is not taking much time and after doing this uh, what you have to do is just minimize it and you just have to go to the recovery file this is the this is not the original recovery file as i have edited it but i'll just give you the uh, original recovery file or the TWRP recovery file for the index cloud S9 smartphone and what you have to do is you just have to rename it as it is in the original custom ROM as the original name in the custom ROM is recovery slash verified I have renamed it into recovery slash verified some the original name of the file will be some recovery slash mt 673 etc and so on I have just edited it or renamed it into recovery verified okay, what you have to do is just copy it and you just have to paste it here you just select this option copy and replace it will replace the original file and now everything is set and the last process is to flash the file into your mobile ok now just go back close this now just go back to flash tool and in this now what you have to do is as you have set this cattle loading file and you have selected the recovery file now what you have to do is you just have to select the download only button and you have to un uh, default will be like this what you have to do is just uncheck all the boxes and just check only the recovery box because you need to install only the twrp recovery in the place of default recovery so what you have to do is you just have to click this button and click this download button now it will nothing will happen what unless you just connect to your device so before connecting your device you have to turn off your device or power off your device just do as i say or I follow my steps yeah okay what you have to do is just turn off your mobile Power off. Okay. Just wait till it uh, turns off completely. You will be feeling a vibrating sensation. And after that, what you have to do is you just have to connect this USB with 
the uh, USB connector. Not charge the device, just connect it. After connecting it with the USB, you will just automatically see that it has a red color uh, flash button has been done and the flashing has been completed. It says a download OK. Okay, now, now just close it and now you can just remove the USB out and now you just have to press the volume up button and the power button to go into TWRP recovery mode till the logo appears just tap on it just do it till the logo appears yeah the boot logo has been appeared wait till it yeah it's successful you have successfully installed twrp recovery project in your intex cloud as smartphone this is the process how you can install intex uh, the twrp recovery in intex cloud as smartphone okay guys thanks for watching this is saipon signing off from business boy and hope you to see you in my next video